Why don't you come inside? Why don't you have another drink? Why don't you get some sleep? Why don't you just come over here? Why don't you take a break? Why don't you 동사 이하를 직역하면 당신은 왜 동사 이하를 안 하죠? 라는 의미를 가집니다. 물론 이대로 사용할 때도 있지만 보통은 상대방에게 제안이나 권유를 할때 주로 사용하게 되죠. 예를 들어 이렇게 피곤해하고 있는 동료의 모습을 보고 집에 가서 쉬면 될것 같은데 왜안 하지? 라는 의문이 들어서 그 의문을 토대로 상대방이 동사했으면 좋겠다는 생각에 왜 집에 가서 자지 않는 거죠? 라는 말을 통해 제안, 권유를 하는 것입니다. 그래서 뭐뭐 하는 게 어때요? 라는 해석이 가능하게 되는 것이죠. 그와 대화를 나눠 보는 건 어때요? 영어로 해 보실까요? 네. Why don't you have a conversation with him? 다시 한번 해 볼까요? 네. Why don't you have a conversation with him? 먼저 물좀 마시는 게 어때? 영어로 해 보실까요? 네. Why don't you drink some water first? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Why don't you drink some water first? 하루 쉬는 건 어때요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Why don't you take a day off from work? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Why don't you take a day off from work? 잠시 시간을 내셔서 여러분 자신의 문장을 적어 보시는 건 어때요? 영어로 해 보실까요? 네. Why don't you take a moment to write your own sentence? 댓글에 why don't you 동사 이하로 문장을 하나씩 만들어 보셔도 좋을 것 같습니다. 다시 한번 해 볼까요? 네. Why don't you take a moment to write your own sentence? Why don't you come inside? Why don't you have another drink? Why don't you get some sleep? Why don't you just come over here? Why don't you take a break? It's time to decide, Mark. It's time to eat something. It is time to pray. It's time to go. It's time to stop wasting time. I think it's time to take a break. It's time to say goodbye, Brett. It's time to 동사 이하 패턴은 크게 두 가지 뉘앙스를 가집니다. 첫째는 이미 예상되어져 있는 행동을 역시 예상되어 있는 시간에 하려고 할때 이제 동사 이하 할 시간입니다. 라고 주로 해석되죠. 두 번째는 기존에 하고 있지 않았는데 이제는 더 이상 미루거나 안할수 없는 상황이 된것 같다고 판단이 들어서 이제 동사 이하 할때 또는 해야 할 때입니다. 라고 말할 때 쓰는 뉘앙스입니다. It's time to decide, Mark. It's time to decide, Mark. It's time to eat something. It's time to eat something. It is time to pray. It is time to pray. It's time to go. It's, it's time to go. It's, it's time to stop wasting time. It's time to stop wasting time. I think it's time to take a break. I think it's time to take a break. It's time to say goodbye, Brett. It's time to say goodbye, Brett. 이제 휴식 시간을 갖고 커피 좀 마셔야 할 때야. 영어로 해 보실까요? 
네. It's time to take a break and have some coffee. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. It's time to take a break and have some coffee. 이제 이걸 할지 말지 정해야 할 때입니다. 영어로 해보실까요? It's time to decide whether we do this or not. 다시 한번 해볼까요? It's time to decide whether we do this or not. 이제 이번 세션을 끝내야 할 시간입니다. 영어로 해보실까요? It's time to end this session. 다시 한번 해볼까요? It's time to end this session. 이제 단거를 줄여야 할 때야. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, It's time to cut back on sweets. Cut back 연습 영상 해보셨으면 잘 나왔을 것 같습니다. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, It's time to cut back on sweets. 이제 나의 진로를 바꿀 때야. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, it's time to change my career. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, it's time to change my career. It's time to decide, Mark. It's time to eat something. It is time to pray. It's time to go. It's time to stop wasting time. I think it's time to take a break. It's time to say goodbye, Brad. I'd like you to listen to some things, and I'd, I'd like you to meet my sister. I'd like you to take me home. So I'd like you to do something. I'd like you to take the lead now. I'd like you to 동사 이하는 I would like you to 동사 이하로 상대방에게 동사 이하하기를 권고하거나 제안 또는 상대방이 동사했으면 좋겠다는 바램 또는 정중한 요청을 담아 난 당신이 동사 이하 해줬으면 좋겠다 동사 이하하길 원한다 라는 의미로 너무나 자주 쓰이는 패턴입니다. 내가 동사하길 원한다 라는 I'd like to 동사 이하는 잘 나오는데 상대방이 등장하게 되면 생각보다 어려워하시는 분들이 많아서 익숙해지셨으면 하는 마음에 이렇게 준비해 본 패턴입니다. 이 패턴은 I want you to 동사 이하와 같은 의미로 사용되긴 하지만 보통 I'd like you to 동사 이하가 더 정중하고 더 부드러운 뉘앙스를 가지기 때문에 특히 잘 모르는 사람이나 윗사람에게 말할 때더 많이 쓰이게 된다는 점은 참고해 주시기 바랍니다. I'd like you to listen to something. I'd like you to listen to something. I'd like you to meet my sister. I'd like you to meet my sister. I'd like you to take me home. I'd like you to take me home. So I'd like you to do something. So I'd like you to do something. I'd like you to take the lead now. I'd like you to take the lead now. 이것을 어떻게 사용하는지 설명해 주셨으면 해요. 영어를 해 보실까요? 네. I'd like you to explain how to use this. 다시 한번 해 볼까요? 네. I'd like you to explain how to use this. 제 채널을 구독하셨으면 좋겠습니다. 영어로 해 보실까요? 네. I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. 영상 꾸준히 올라오니까 알람도 설정해 두시고 댓글도 남겨 주세요. 감사합니다. 다시 한번 해 볼까요? 네. I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. 눈을 감고 심호흡을 하셨으면 해요. 영어로 해 보실까요? 네. I'd like you to close your eyes and take a deep breath. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I'd like you to close your eyes and take a deep breath. 기조 연설을 해주셨으면 합니다. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I'd like you to give a keynote speech. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I'd like you to give a keynote speech. 당신의 이전 직장에 대해 저에게 말해 주셨으면 합니다. 영어로 해 보실까요? 
네, I'd like you to tell me about your previous job. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I'd like you to tell me about your previous job. I'd like you to listen to something. And I'd, I'd like you to meet my sister. I'd like you to take me home. So I'd like you to do something. I'd like you to take the lead now. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Do you mind if I call you sometime? Do you mind if I join you? Do you mind if I say something first? Do you mind if I sit down? Oh. Do you mind if I smoke? Mind if I open a window? Do you mind if I 동사 이하를 직역하면 내가 동사하면 당신은 신경 쓸까요? 지만 특정 동사를 하기 전에 상대방을 배려하며 동사를 해도 신경 쓰이거나 불편하지 않은지 물어보는 표현으로 제가 동사해도 될까요? 라고 주로 해석이 됩니다. 친한 친구나 가족한테는 잘 쓰지 않지만 쓸 경우에는 do you를 빼고 mind if I 동사 이야 라고 캐주얼하게 사용하는 것이 수많은 영화나 드라마에서도 자주 나옵니다. 이 패턴에는 대답도 중요한데 누군가 나에게 물어봤을 때 불편하지 않다면 yes 가 아닌 no 라고 해주셔야 됩니다. full로 말하면 no I don't mind 아니에요 신경 쓰이지 않아요 가 되기 때문입니다. 그렇다고 해서 불편하면 yes I mind 를 쓰면 되냐 사실 이 표현은 너무 노골적이기 때문에 I'm sorry but 하고 불편한 이유를 말하는 것이 좋겠습니다. Do you mind if I sit down? Oh. Do you mind if I sit down? Oh. Do you mind if I sit down? Oh. Do you mind if I smoke? Do you mind if I smoke? Do you mind if I smoke? Mind if I open a window? Mind if I open a window? Mind if I open a window? 창문 좀 열어도 될까요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you mind if I open the window? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you mind if I open the window? 여기 앉아도 될까요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you mind if I sit here? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you mind if I sit here? 오늘 오후에 사무실에 들러도 될까요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you mind if I come by your office this afternoon? 다시 해볼까요? 네. Do you mind if I come by your office this afternoon? 좀 둘러봐도 될까요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you mind if I take a look around? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you mind if I take a look around? 사진 찍어도 괜찮을까요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you mind if I take a picture? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you mind if I take a picture? 점심 식사 때 함께 해도 될까요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you mind if I join you for lunch? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you mind if I join you for lunch? 다시 연습하시길 요청드려도 될까요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you mind if I ask you to practice again? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you mind if I ask you to practice again? Do you mind if I ask you a question? Do you mind if I call you sometime? Do you mind if I join you? Do you mind if I say something first? Do you mind if I sit down? Do you mind if I smoke? Mind if I open a window? I don't think you're right for me. I don't think he's okay. I don't think it'll be necessary. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think that's appropriate. I don't think it's funny. I don't think that 이하는 말 그대로 that 이하에 나오는 내용이 그렇지 않다라고 말을 할때 사용하며 주로 뭐뭐라고 뭐뭐하다고 생각하지 않는다, 뭐뭐하는 것 같지 않다라는 해석을 하지만 문장마다 한국어 해석은 조금씩 달라질 수 있습니다. 이 표현을 I think that 부정문 형태로 쓰시는 경우가 있는데 중요한 것은 내가 그렇게 생각하지 않는다는 것이기 때문에. 
아른센 그로 문장을 이끌면서 that 이하에 나오는 문장은 원래 그대로를 쓰는 경우가 원어민의 사고방식입니다. 그래서 I think it's not a cat 이라는 문장을 틀린 문장이라고 하진 않지만 거의 쓰지 않고 I don't think it's a cat 이라고 하는 게더 원어민 영어에 맞다는 것입니다. I don't think 다음에 that은 꼭 강조하고 싶은 것이 아니라면 대부분의 문장에서 생략된다는 것도 참고해 주세요. I don't think you're right for me. I don't think you're right for me. I don't think you're right for me. I don't think he's okay. I don't think he's okay. I don't think he's okay. I don't think it'll be necessary. I don't think it'll be necessary. I don't think it'll be necessary. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think that's appropriate. I don't think that's appropriate. I don't think that's appropriate. I don't think it's fun. I don't think it's fun. I don't think it's fun. 당신이 옳다고 생각하지 않습니다. 영어를 한번 해 보실까요? 네. I don't think you're right. 다시 한번 해 볼까요? 네. I don't think you're right. 그건 좋은 생각 같지 않아요. 영어를 해 볼까요? 네, I don't think it's a good idea. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't think it's a good idea. 저녁 때 함께 할수 있을 것 같지 않아요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I don't think I can join you for dinner. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't think I can join you for dinner. 해도 나쁜 것이라고 생각하지 않습니다. 영어를 해볼까요? 네, I don't think that's a bad thing to do. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't think that's a bad thing to do. 이게 너무 비싸다고 생각하지 않습니다. 영어를 해보실까요? 네, I don't think this is too expensive. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't think this is too expensive. 오후에 비가 올 거라고 생각하지 않습니다. 영어를 해볼까요? 네, I don't think it will rain this afternoon. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't think it will rain this afternoon. 이게 유일한 해결책이라고 생각하지 않아요. 영어를 해보실까요? 네, I don't think this is the only solution. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't think this is the only solution. I don't think you're right for me. I don't think he's okay. I don't think it'll be necessary. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think that's appropriate. I don't think it's fun. I've been thinking about what happened. I've been thinking a lot about us, about our relationship. I've been thinking about doing something different. I've been thinking about retiring. I've been thinking of getting rid of it. I've, I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about what you said. I've been thinking 이하에서 이하는 주로 두 가지 형태입니다. I've been thinking of 명사 형태, I've been thinking about 명사 형태. 명사 형태이기 때문에 단순 명사가 올 수도 동명사 형태가 올 수도 또 what이나 how 등의 의문사가 이끄는 명사질이 올 수도 있습니다. 그만큼 만들 수 있는 문장이 많다는 뜻이죠. 이번 패턴의 한국어 해석은 문장과 상황에 따라 조금씩 다르지만 기본 의미는 과거의 어느 시점에서부터 지금까지도 목적어 부분에 오는 것을 생각해 오고 있다는 것입니다. 한 가지만 집중해서 생각할 만큼 중요한 대상이기 때문에 또 그만큼 고민이 되는 것이기 때문에 또 그만큼 신경이 쓰이는 상황이기 때문에 등 다양한 상황이 파생될 수 있습니다. I've been thinking about what happened. I've been thinking about what happened. I've been thinking about what happened. I've been thinking a lot about us, about our relationship. I've been thinking a lot about us, about our relationship. I've been thinking a lot about us, about our relationship. I've been thinking about doing something different. I've been thinking about doing something different. I've been thinking about doing something different. I've been thinking about retiring. I've been thinking about retiring. I've been thinking about retiring. 
I've been thinking of getting rid of it. I've, I've been thinking of getting rid of it. I've, I've been thinking of getting rid of it. I've, I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about what you said. I've been thinking about what you said. I've been thinking about what you said. 우리가 뭘할수 있을지에 대해 계속 생각했어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I've been thinking about what we can do. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I've been thinking about what we can do. 이 문제를 어떻게 해결해야 할지에 대해 줄곧 생각했어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I've been thinking about how to solve this problem. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I've been thinking about how to solve this problem. 너의 질문에 대해 줄곧 생각해 봤는데 이해가 안 가. 영어로 해 보실까요? 네. I've been thinking about your question, but I don't understand it. 다시 한번 해 볼까요? 네. I've been thinking about your question, but I don't understand it. 그것이 나에게 어떤 의미가 있는지에 대해 줄곧 생각해 봤어. 영어로 해 보실까요? 네. I've been thinking about what it means to me. 다시 한번 해 볼까요? 네. I've been thinking about what it means to me. 새 차를 구입하는 것을 줄곧 생각해 왔어. 영어로 해 보실까요? 네. I've been thinking of buying a new car. 다시 한번 해 볼까요? 네. I've been thinking of buying a new car. 그곳에 가는 방법들을 줄곧 생각해 봤어요. 영어로 해 보실까요? 네. I've been thinking of ways to get there. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I've been thinking of ways to get there. 너를 행복하게 만들기 위해 내가 뭘할수 있을지를 줄고 생각해 봤어. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I've been thinking of what I can do to make you happy. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I've been thinking of what I can do to make you happy. I've been thinking about what happened. I've been thinking a lot about us, about our relationship. I've been thinking about doing something different. I've been thinking about retiring. I've been thinking of getting rid of it. I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about what you said. So it's important that, that you understand. I think it's also very important that we discuss and discard. It's very important that we nail it. I think it's very important that they see this. It's very, very important that you love and respect each other. I think it's very important that you know my faults. It's very important that uh, we do this quickly. I think it's very important that 이하 패턴은 다른 패턴보다 직관적입니다. 정말 말 그대로 내가 생각하기에 that 이하에 나오는 사실 등이 매우 중요하다고 느끼기 때문에 그 의견을 말할 때 자주 사용하는 패턴인 것입니다. 무엇뭇 하는 것이 정말 중요하다고 생각합니다. So it's important that that you understand. So it's important that that you understand. So it's important that that you understand. I think it's also very important that we discuss and discard. I think it's also very important that we discuss and discard. I think it's also very important that we discuss and discard. It's very important that we nail it. It's very important that we nail it. It's very important that that we nail it. I think it's very important that they see this. I think it's very important that they see this. I think it's very important that they see this. It's very, very important that you love and respect each other. It's very, very important that you love and respect each other. It's very, very important that you love and respect each other. I think it's very important that you know my faults. I think it's very important that you know my faults. I think it's very important that you know my faults. It's very important that uh, we do this quickly. It's very important that uh, we do this quickly. It's very important that uh, we do this quickly. 
우리가 이 일을 계속하는 것이 정말 중요하다고 생각합니다. 영어로 해보실까요? I think it's very important that we keep doing this work. 다시 한번 해볼까요? I think it's very important that we keep doing this work. 사람들이 우리 역사를 아는 것이 정말 중요하다고 생각해요. 영어로 해보실까요? I think it's very important that people know our history. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I think it's very important that people know our history. 그가 연구를 더 하는 것이 정말 중요하다고 생각해요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I think it's very important that he does more research. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I think it's very important that he does more research. 우리가 더 나은 해결책을 생각해내는 게 정말 중요하다고 생각해요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I think it's very important that we come up with a better solution. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I think it's very important that we come up with a better solution. 사람들이 자신만의 꿈을 가지는 것이 정말 중요하다고 생각합니다. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I think it's very important that people have their own dreams. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I think it's very important that people have their own dreams. 우리가 확실한 목표를 설정하는 것이 정말 중요하다고 생각합니다. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I think it's very important that we set a clear goal. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I think it's very important that we set a clear goal. 그들이 대화를 시작하는 것이 정말 중요하다고 생각합니다. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I think it's very important that they start to have a conversation. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I think it's very important that they start to have a conversation. So it's important that, that you understand. I think it's also very important that we discuss and discard. It's very important that we nail it. I think it's very important that they see this. It's very, very important that you love and respect each other. I think it's very important that you know my faults. It's very important that uh, we do this quickly. I thought he was wonderful. I thought he was different. I thought he was a savior. <laughs> I thought this was over. I thought you didn't smoke. I thought you didn't trust us. I thought you hated me. I thought you all hated me. I thought that Ian은 that Ian라고 생각했어. That Ian인 줄 알았어라고 주로 해석이 되는 패턴입니다. 그냥 단순히 생각했다라고도 쓰이긴 하지만 보통 어떤 결과가 과거에 생각했던 것과 다를 때 자주 사용하는 패턴이라고 했습니다. 특정 과거 시점에는 that 이하라고 생각했었지만 알고 나니 그게 아니었다 라는 뉘앙스입니다. 조금 더 뒤의 내용을 힘주어 말하기 위해 that을 말할 때도 있지만 보통은 그냥 생략하고 말한다는 것은 참고해 주세요. I thought he was wonderful. I thought he was different. I thought he was a savior. I thought he was wonderful. I thought he was different. I thought he was a savior. I thought he was wonderful. I thought he was Different. I thought it was a savior. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was over. Yeah, I thought this was over. Yeah, I thought this was over. Yeah. I thought you didn't smoke. I thought you didn't smoke. I thought you didn't smoke. I thought you didn't trust us. I thought you didn't trust us. I thought you didn't trust us. I thought you hated me. I thought you all hated me. I thought you hated me. I thought you all hated me. I thought you hated me. I thought you all hated me.
그녀의 이름이 웬디인 줄 알았는데 레이첼이네요. 영어를 해보실까요? I thought her name was Wendy, but it's Rachel. 보통 이렇게 생각한 것과 다른 내용이 나오면서 상황이 전개가 됩니다. 다시 한번 말해볼까요? 네. I thought her name was Wendy, but it's Rachel. 당신이 사무실에 없는 줄 알았어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I thought you weren't in the office. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I thought you weren't in the office. 우리 사이가 끝났다고 생각했어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I thought our relationship was over. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I thought our relationship was over. 내 아이디어를 싫어했다고 생각했어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I thought you didn't like my idea. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I thought you didn't like my idea. 그녀가 그 세미나에 참석하지 않을 거라고 생각했어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I thought she wouldn't attend the seminar. 과거 시점에서 미래에 대해 생각했던 것이기 때문에 would가 사용됩니다. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I thought she wouldn't attend the seminar. 그것에 대해 너에게 이미 말했다고 생각했어. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I thought that I already told you about it. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I thought that I already told you about it. 네가 운동하는 걸 싫어한다고 생각했어. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I thought you hated working out. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I thought you hated working out. I thought he was wonderful. I thought he was different. I thought he was a savior. <laughs> I thought this was over. I thought you didn't smoke. I thought you didn't trust us. I thought you hated me. I thought you all hated me. It's kind of hard for me to explain. It's kind of hard to describe. Well, it's kind of hard for me to go back out there. Yeah, I guess it is kind of hard to believe. It's kind of hard for me to answer that for you. I don't know. It's kind of hard to understand her. It's kind of hard for me to 동사 이하는 동사 이하하는 게 나에게는 다소 힘들다, 어렵다 라고 주로 해석이 되는 패턴입니다. 예전에 미드 패턴에서도 자주 등장했던 kind of는 뒤에 나오는 의미를 조금 중화시켜주는 의미가 있다고 했습니다. 그래서 사실은 hard for me, 어렵고 힘든 느낌이 들지만 직접적으로 100% 표현하기 그럴 때 또는 정말 다소 그렇다고 표현할 때 kind of hard for me 라고 표현하는 것입니다. 그리고 거의 연음으로 밖에 안 말하기 때문에 It's kind of hard for me 보다는 It's kinda hard for me 라고 표현하게 됩니다. 물론 kind of를 빼고 활용하실 수 있는 패턴이고 hard 대신에 easy, strange, perfect 등의 적절한 형용사와 함께 활용하셔도 좋은 패턴입니다. It's kind of hard for me to explain. It's kind of hard for me to explain. It's kind of hard for me to explain. It's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of hard to describe. It's kind of hard for me to go back out there. It's kind of hard for me to go back out there. It's kind of hard for me to go back out there. Yeah, I guess it is kind of hard to believe. Yeah, I guess it is kind of hard to believe. Yeah, I guess it is kind of hard to believe. It's kind of hard for me to answer that for you. It's kind of hard for me to answer that for you. It's kind of hard for me to answer that for you. I don't know. It's kind of hard to understand her. I don't know. It's kind of hard to understand her. I don't know. It's kind of hard to understand her. 영어 공부를 매일 한 시간씩 하는 건 저에게 좀 힘들어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. It's kind of hard for me to study English for an hour every day. 한 시간은 좀 그렇지만. 
10분에서 30분 사이라도 매일 꾸준히 해주시는 게 중요합니다. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, it's kind of hard for me to study English for an hour every day. 아침 6시까지 사무실에 오는 건좀 힘들어요. 영어를 해보실까요? It's kind of hard for me to come to the office by 6 a.m. 다시 한번 해볼까요? It's kind of hard for me to come to the office by 6 a.m. 상사에게 직접 말하는 건좀 힘들어요. 영어를 해보실까요? It's kind of hard for me to speak to my boss directly. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. It's kind of hard for me to speak to my boss directly. 당신이 말하는 걸 이해하는 게좀 어려워요. 영어를 해보실까요? 네. It's kind of hard for me to understand what you're saying. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. It's kind of hard for me to understand what you're saying. 당신의 질문에 답하는 게좀 어려워요. 영어를 해보실까요? 네. It's kind of hard for me to answer your question. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, it's kind of hard for me to answer your question. 그가 쓴걸 읽는 게좀 어려워요. 영어를 해보실까요? 네, it's kind of hard for me to read what he wrote. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, it's kind of hard for me to read what he wrote. 그 일에 집중하는 게좀 어려워요. 영어를 해보실까요? 네, it's kind of hard for me to concentrate on the task. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, it's kind of hard for me to concentrate on the task. It's kind of hard for me to explain. It's kind of hard to describe. Well, it's kind of hard for me to go back out there. Yeah, I guess it is kind of hard to believe. It's kind of hard for me to answer that for you. I don't know, it's kind of hard to understand her. I remember the day I got my first paycheck. I remember the day we met. I remember the day you came into this world. I still remember the day I heard you were getting married. I remember the day he was born. I remember the day Ian은 이하에 해당하는 일 등을 기억하고 있다는 의미의 패턴입니다. 중요한 것은 the day, 특정한 날을 기억하는데 기억을 하려면 이미 사건이나 일이 벌어져야 했었기 때문에 과거 시제의 문장이 뒤에 오게 되는 것입니다. 과거를 회상하거나 과거에 어떤 일이 있었음을 상기시켜야 하는 상황에서 자주 등장하는 패턴입니다. I remember the day I got my first paycheck. I remember the day I got my first paycheck. I remember the day I got my first paycheck. I remember the day we met. I remember the day we met. I remember the day we met. I remember the day you came into this world. I remember the day you came into this world. I remember the day you came into this world. I still remember the day I heard you were getting married. I still remember the day I heard you were getting married. I still remember the day I heard you were getting married. Remember the day he was born. Remember the day he was born. Remember the day he was born. 우리가 처음 만났던 날을 기억해. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I remember the day we first met. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I remember the day we first met. 내 딸이 태어난 날을 기억해요. 영어를 해보실까요? 네, I remember the day my daughter was born. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I remember the day my daughter was born. 나의 첫 번째 차를 샀던 날을 기억해요. 영어를 해보실까요? 
네. I remember the day I bought my first car. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I remember the day I bought my first car. 네가 날 떠났던 날을 기억해. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I remember the day you left me. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I remember the day you left me. 당신이 그 질문을 했던 날을 기억해요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I remember the day you asked me the question. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I remember the day you asked me the question. 내가 담배를 끊은 날을 기억해요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I remember the day I quit smoking. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I remember the day I quit smoking. 내가 첫 급여를 받았던 날을 기억해. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I remember the day I got my first paycheck. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I remember the day I got my first paycheck. I remember the day I got my first paycheck. I remember the day we met. I remember the day you came into this world. I still remember the day I heard you were getting married. I remember the day he was born. Do you know what it is? Do you know what I want? Do you know what he told me? Do you know what you just did? Do you know what he's doing here? Yeah. Do you know what you need to do now? 지난번 의문사절 연습 잘 하셨죠? 아직 안 하셨다면 한번 연습해 보시기 바랍니다. 오늘은 의문사절이 자주 등장하는 대표적인 패턴인 Do you know 의문사절? 그 중에서도 What으로 시작하는 의문사절로 연습해 볼게요. 기본적으로 의문사절에 해당하는 내용을 알고 있는지 상대방에게 묻는 패턴입니다. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Do you know what I want? Do you know what I want? Do you know what I want? Do you know what he told me? Do you know what he told me? Do you know what he told me? Do you know what you just did? Do you know what you just did? Do you know what you just did? Do you know what he's doing here? Yeah. Do you know what he's doing here? Yeah. Do you know what he's doing here? Yeah. Do you know what you need to do now? Do you know what you need to do now? Do you know what you need to do now? 이게 뭔지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know what this is? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know what this is? 제가 해야 할게 뭔지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know what I need to do? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know what I need to do? FTA가 무엇의 약자인지 알아요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know what FTA stands for? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know what FTA stands for? 그게 무슨 의미인지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know what it means? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know what it means? 이 회의가 무엇에 관한 건지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know what this meeting is about? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know what this meeting is about? 그가 뭐하고 있는지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know what he's doing? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know what he's doing? 제가 지금 뭘 하고 싶은지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know what I want to do now? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 
네. Do you know what I want to do now? Do you know what it is? Do you know what I want? Do you know what he told me? Do you know what you just did? Do you know what he's doing here? Yeah. Do you know what you need to do now? Do you know where she is? Do you know where he lives? Do you know where I can find him? Hey, do you know where I was all morning? Do you know where my husband is? Do you know where the nearest train station is? Do you know where they went? 오늘은 의문사절이 자주 등장하는 대표적인 패턴인 Do you know 의문사절 그 중에서도 where로 시작하는 의문사절로 연습해 볼게요. When, why, how와 같은 의문사도 Do you know 패턴과 자주 결합하여 사용하니까 예문을 한번 만들어 보시고 한 패턴 연습에서는 where까지만 연습하고 다양한 패턴 연습을 위해 다른 패턴으로 넘어가겠습니다. Do you know where she is? Do you know where she is? Do you know where she is? Do you know where he lives? Do you know where he lives? Do you know where he lives? Do you know where I can find him? Do you know where I can find him? Do you know where I can find him? Hey, do you know where I was all morning? Hey, do you know where I was all morning? Hey, do you know where I was all morning? Know where my husband is? Know where my husband is? Know where my husband is? Do you know where the nearest train station is? Do you know where the nearest train station is? Do you know where the nearest train station is? Do you know where they went? Do you know where they went? Do you know where they went? 내 열쇠가 어디 있는지 알아? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know where my key is? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know where my key is? 그녀가 어디 있는지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know where she is? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know where she is? 이 지역에서 가장 맛있는 식당이 어디인지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know where the best restaurant in this area is? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know where the best restaurant in this area is? 새로 생긴 빵집이 어디인지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know where the new baker is? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know where the new baker is? 그들이 어디에 있었는지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know where they have been? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know where they have been? 제 소포를 어디에서 받을 수 있는지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know where I can get my parcel? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know where I can get my parcel? 우리가 어디를 가고 있는지 아세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you know where we are going? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you know where we are going? Do you know where she is? Do you know where he lives? Do you know where I can find him? Hey, do you know where I was all morning? Know where my husband is? Do you know where the nearest train station is? Do you know where they went? I decided to wait. I decided to come. So I decided to do more. I decided to come back to school. I decided to go gentle with Phil. I decided to do something I almost never do. I decided to 동사 이하 패턴은 말 그대로 동사하기로 결정을 내렸다 라는 의미로 뒤에 나오는 동사의 성격에 따라 가볍게 시도하는 정도일 수도 중대한 사안일 수도 있어서 다양한 상황에서 자주 등장하는 패턴입니다. I decided to wait. I decided to wait. I decided to wait. I decided to come. I decided to come. I decided to come. So I decided to do more. So I decided to do more. So I decided to do more. I decided to come back to school. I decided to come back to school. I decided to come back to school. I decided to go gentle with Phil. I decided to go gentle with Phil. I decided to go gentle with Phil. I decided to do something I almost never do. I decided to do something I almost never do. I decided to do something I almost never do. 매일 아침 5시 30분에 일어나기로 결심했어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I decided to wake up at 5.30 every morning. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 
네, I decided to wake up at 5.30 every morning. 이 채널로 영어 공부하기로 결정했어요. 영어를 해보실까요? 네, I decided to study English with this channel. 구독과 좋아요, 알람 설정 부탁드립니다. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I decided to study English with this channel. 내 사업을 시작하기로 결정했어요. 영어를 해보실까요? 네, I decided to start my own business. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I decided to start my own business. 일주일에 최소 세번 헬스장에서 운동하기로 결심했어요. 영어를 해보실까요? 네, I decided to work out at the gym at least three times a week. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I decided to work out at the gym at least three times a week. 내가 잘하는 것에 집중하기로 했어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I decided to focus on what I'm good at. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I decided to focus on what I'm good at. 라면을 그만 먹기로 결심했어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I decided to stop eating instant noodles. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I decided to stop eating instant noodles. 모두에게 진실을 말하기로 결심했어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I decided to tell everyone the truth. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I decided to tell everyone the truth. 변호사가 되기로 결정했어요. 영어를 해보실까요? 네, I decided to become a lawyer. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I decided to become a lawyer. 그 이야기에 대해서 책을 쓰기로 결정했어요. 영어를 해보실까요? 네, I decided to write a book about the story. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I decided to write a book about the story. 내 가족과 정기적으로 시간을 보내기로 했어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I decided to spend time regularly with my family. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I decided to spend time regularly with my family. 내가 항상 하고 싶었던 것을 하기로 결정했어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I decided to do what I always wanted to do. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I decided to do what I always wanted to do. I decided to wait. I decided to come. So I decided to do more. I decided to come back to school. I decided to go gentle with Phil. I decided to do something I almost never do. I don't care where we live. And I don't care what you think. I don't care why he did it. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how much he begs. I don't care who started it. I don't care why. I don't care who was right or wrong. 의문은 말 그대로 의문 사절에 해당하는 것을 신경 쓰지 않는다. 상관없다라는 표현입니다. I don't care where we live. I don't care where we live. I don't care where we live. And I don't care what you think. And I don't care what you think. And I don't care what you think.
I don't care why he did it. I don't care why he did it. I don't care why he did it. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how much he begs. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how much he begs. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how much he begs. I don't care who started it. I don't care why. I don't care who was right or wrong. I don't care who started it. I don't care why. I don't care who was right or wrong. I don't care who started it. I don't care why. I don't care who was right or wrong. I don't care how expensive it is. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't care how expensive it is. 당신이 나에 대해 어떻게 생각하는지 신경 안 써요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I don't care what you think about me. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't care what you think about me. 이게 얼마나 어려운지는 상관없어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I don't care how difficult this is. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't care how difficult this is. 커피 마시러 어디로 가든 상관없어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I don't care where we go for coffee. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't care where we go for coffee. 제대로만 하면 어떻게 그걸 하든지 상관 안 해요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I don't care how you do it, if you do it right. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't care how you do it, if you do it right. 그들이 어디서 왔는지 신경 안 써요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I don't care where they came from. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't care where they came from. 당신이 돈이 얼마나 있던 상관 안 해요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I don't care how much money you have. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't care how much money you have. 사람들이 뭐라 하든 신경 안 써요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I don't care what people say. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't care what people say. 당신이 누구인지, 어디 사는지, 뭘 하는지 상관없어요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I don't care who you are, where you live, what you do. 이렇게 나열할 수도 있겠죠? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't care who you are, where you live, what you do. 네가 그것에 대해 얼마나 알고 있는지 신경 안 써. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I don't care how much you know about it. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't care how much you know about it. 그게 얼마나 걸리든지 상관 안 해요. 어쨌든 끝낼 거예요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I don't care how long it takes. I'll finish it anyway. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I don't care how long it takes. I'll finish it anyway. I don't care where we live. And I don't care what you think. I don't care why he did it. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how much he begs. I don't care who started it. I don't care why. I don't care who was right or wrong. I... Why are you trying so hard to bury this thing, huh? Why are you trying to do that? Why are you trying to kill me? Why are you trying to ruin this? Why are you trying to screw me? Why are you trying to take this away from me? Why are you trying to 동사 이하 패턴은 말 그대로 상대방에게 동사 이하에 해당하는 걸왜 하려고 하는지, 왜 하려고 노력하고 애쓰는지를 물어보는 표현으로 상황에 따라 정말 궁금해서 물어보는 것일 수도 있고 안쓰러워서 그런 것일 수도 때로는 왜 부질없는 짓을 하느냐 
라고 물어보는 뉘앙스일 수도 있어서 다양한 상황에서 자주 등장하는 패턴입니다. Why are you trying so hard to bury this thing, huh? Why are you trying so hard to bury this thing, huh? Why are you trying so hard to bury this thing, huh? Why are you trying to do that? Why are you trying to do that? Why are you trying to do that? Why are you trying to kill me? Why are you trying to kill me? Why are you trying to kill me? Why are you trying to ruin this? Why are you trying to ruin this? Why are you trying to ruin this? Why are you trying to screw me? Why are you trying to screw me? Why are you trying to screw me? Why are you trying to take this away from me? Why are you trying to take this away from me? Why are you trying to take this away from me? 왜 그걸 하려고 하시는 건가요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to do it? 상대방이 하는 동사를 두로 받으면 가장 편하게 쓸수 있습니다. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, Why are you trying to do it? 왜 나를 가르치려고 드는 거지? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to teach me? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, Why are you trying to teach me? 왜 당신의 사업을 확장하시려고 하시나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to expand your business? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, Why are you trying to expand your business? 왜 체중을 줄이려고 애쓰는 건가요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to lose weight? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, Why are you trying to lose weight? 왜 너만의 세계를 구축하려고 애쓰는 거지? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to build your own world? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, Why are you trying to build your own world? 왜 모든 것을 알려고 애쓰는 거죠? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to know everything? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, Why are you trying to know everything? 왜 항상 겸손하려고 노력하는 거예요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to be always humble? 일반 동사 대신 구조에 따라 비동사 원형이 올 수도 있겠죠? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, Why are you trying to be always humble? 왜 저를 도우려고 하시는 거죠? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to help me? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, Why are you trying to help me? 왜네 자신에 대한 모든 것을 바꾸려고 하는 거지? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to change everything about yourself? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, Why are you trying to change everything about yourself? 왜 돈을 모으려고 하시는 거죠? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to save money? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, Why are you trying to save money? 왜현 직장을 그만두시려고 하는 거죠? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to leave your current job? 원어민들은 leave를 자주 쓰는데 물론 quit 동사를 쓰셔도 됩니다. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, Why are you trying to leave your current job? 왜 매일 하루에 3시간이나 영어 공부를 하려고 하시는 거죠? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, Why are you trying to study English for three hours every day? 네, 세 시간까지는 아니더라도 매일 에라잉 채널에서 영상 하나씩은 학습해 주시면 좋겠습니다. 
다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Why are you trying to study English for three hours every day? Why are you trying so hard to bury this thing, huh? Why are you trying to do that? Why are you trying to kill me? Why are you trying to ruin this? Why are you trying to screw me? Why are you trying to take this away from me? Do you want me to tell you? Do you want me to do that? Do you want me to tell him? Do you want me to help you? Do you want me to wait for you? No, no, don't wait. Do you want me to stay with you? Do you want me to 동사 이하 패턴은 말 그대로 내가 동사 이하 해주는 것을 원하는지에 대한 상대방의 의사를 묻는 것으로 다양한 상황에서 자주 등장하는 패턴입니다. 해석은 상황에 따라 주로 뭐뭐 해줄까요? 뭐뭐 해주길 바라나요? 뭐뭐 하면 좋겠어요? 정도가 됩니다. Do you want me to tell you? Do you want me to tell you? Do you want me to tell you? Do you want me to do that? Do you want me to do that? Do you want me to do that? Do you want me to tell him? Do you want me to tell him? Do you want me to tell him? Do you want me to help you? Do you want me to help you? Do you want me to help you? Do you want me to wait for you? No, no, don't wait. Do you want me to wait for you? No, no, don't wait. Do you want me to wait for you? No, no, don't wait. Do you want me to stay with you? Do you want me to stay with you? Do you want me to stay with you? 내가 당신을 도와주기를 바라나요? 영어로 해 보실까요? 네. Do you want me to help you? Do you want me to help you? 처럼 do you want me to를 연음으로 할 수도 있습니다. 다시 한번 해 볼까요? 네. Do you want me to help you? 제가 여기 머무르기를 바라나요? 영어로 해 보실까요? 네. Do you want me to stay here? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you want me to stay here? 사진 찍어줄까요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you want me to take a picture of you? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you want me to take a picture of you? 문을 닫아주면 좋겠어요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you want me to close the door? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you want me to close the door? 사실을 말해주길 바라나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you want me to tell you the truth? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you want me to tell you the truth? 이걸 다시 하면 좋겠어요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you want me to do this again? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you want me to do this again? 사무실에 데려다 줄까요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you want me to take you to your office? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you want me to take you to your office? 이걸 어떻게 만드는지 알려줄까요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you want me to teach you how to make this? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you want me to teach you how to make this? 고마워라고 말했으면 좋겠어. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you want me to say thank you? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you want me to say thank you? 내가 데리러 가줄까? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you want me to pick you up? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you want me to pick you up? 내가 운전했으면 좋겠어요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you want me to drive? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you want me to drive? 당신과 함께 있어주길 바라나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Do you want me to be with you? 
동사 원형은 비동사가 올 수도 있겠죠. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Do you want me to be with you? Do you want me to tell you? Do you want me to do that? Do you want me to tell him? Do you want me to help you? Do you want me to wait for you? No, no, don't wait. Do you want me to stay with you? I can't believe it wasn't me. I can't believe I believe you. I can't believe she's she's dating? I can't believe you did this. <laughs> I can't believe you're leaving tomorrow. I can't believe you're single. I can't believe you're alive. <laughs> I can't believe it myself. I can't believe 주어 동사 이하 패턴은 말 그대로 뒤에 나오는 주어가 동사한, 동사하는 내용을 믿을 수 없다는 표현으로 다양한 상황에서 자주 등장하는 패턴입니다. 주어 동사 전에 that이 생략된 패턴이라는 것과 주로 강조할 때 that을 살려준다는 것을 참고하시고 상황에 따라서 뉘앙스가 조금씩 다르다는 것을 연습해 보면서 느껴보시고 패턴 익숙해져 보시기 바랍니다. I can't believe you did this. I can't believe you did this. I can't believe you did this. I can't believe you're leaving tomorrow. I can't believe you're leaving tomorrow. I can't believe you're leaving tomorrow. I can't believe you're single. I can't believe you're single. I can't believe you're single. I can't believe you're alive. I can't believe it myself. I can't believe you're alive. I can't believe it myself. I can't believe you're alive. I can't believe it myself. You got I get you got hit down and give you the soap so you I can't believe you did this to me. That's I'm gonna go. I can't believe you did this to me. Can you got good channel but I did it again. Mickey John now. You want to go. I can't believe she accepted the offer. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe she accepted the offer. 그가 결혼한다는 게 믿기지 않아요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe he's getting married. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe he's getting married. 네가 그걸 말했다는 게 믿기지 않아. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe you said that. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe you said that. 이 일이 일어나고 있다는 게 믿기지 않아요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe this is happening. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe this is happening. 내가 뉴욕에 있다는 게 믿기지 않아. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe I'm in New York. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe I'm in New York. 당신이 떠난다는 게 믿기지 않아요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe you're leaving. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe you're leaving. 당신이 내게 동의하지 않았다는 게 믿기지 않아요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe you didn't agree with me. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe you didn't agree with me. 그들이 나에게 거짓말을 했다는 게 믿기지 않아요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe they lied to me. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe they lied to me. 
그녀가 내 이름을 기억했다는 게 놀랍네요. 영어를 보실까요? I can't believe she remembered my name. 믿을 수 없을 정도로 놀라운 상황에서도 쓸수 있는 패턴입니다. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe she remembered my name. 네가 그돈 전부를 단 이틀 만에 써버렸다는 게 믿기지 않아. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe you spent all that money in just two days. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe you spent all that money in just two days. 사람들이 이걸 심각하게 받아들이지 않는다는 게 놀랍네요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe people don't take this seriously. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe people don't take this seriously. 내가 말하고 있는 동안 네가 잠들었다는 게 믿기지 않아. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe you fell asleep while I was talking. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe you fell asleep while I was talking. 벌써 3년이 됐다는 게 믿기지 않아요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe it has been already three years. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe it has been already three years. 여기 계신 모든 분들이 영어를 정말 열심히 공부한다는 게 놀랍습니다. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I can't believe everyone here is studying English very hard. LRN 채널에서 영어 학습해 주셔서 감사드립니다. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I can't believe everyone here is studying English very hard. I can't believe it wasn't me. I can't believe I believe you. I can't believe she's, she's dating? I can't believe you did this. <laughs> I can't believe you're leaving tomorrow. I can't believe you're single. I can't believe you're alive. <laughs> I can't believe it myself. How do you like your eggs? How do you like living at home? How do you like living here so far, huh? How do you like working with Dave? How do you like your new job? How do you like your new office? How do you like 명사 형태 패턴은 상대방에게 명사에 대한 선호도 감정을 물을 때나 명사를 특정 방식으로 하기 전에 의사를 묻는 표현으로 다양한 상황에서 자주 등장하는 패턴입니다. 해석은 상황에 따라 다르지만 주로 명사는 어때요? 어떻습니까? 그리고 명사를 어떻게 해드릴까요? 정도로 해석합니다. Do you like it? 하면 일단 yes 아니면 no지만 How do you like it?은 보다 다양한 대답이 나올 수 있다는 분명한 차이가 있습니다. 새로운 직장 어때요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, How do you like your new job? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, How do you like your new job? 이 행사 어떠세요? 영어로 한번 해보실까요? 네, How do you like this event? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, How do you like this event? 한국에 사시는 거 어떠세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, How do you like living in Korea? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, How do you like living in Korea? 커피 어떻게 드릴까요? 진하게 해드려요? 아니면 약하게 해드려요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네, How do you like your coffee? Strong or weak? 
다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, How do you like your coffee? Strong or weak? 계란 후라이 어떻게 드릴까요? 한쪽만 익힐까요? 아니면 반숙으로 해드릴까요? 영어로 해보실까요? How do you like your egg? Sunny side up or over easy? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. How do you like your egg? Sunny side up or over easy? 계란 후라이 어때요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. How do you like the egg? 여기서는 조리된 계란 후라이가 괜찮은지 어떤지를 묻는 겁니다. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. How do you like the egg? 새 아파트 어때? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. How do you like your new apartment? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. How do you like your new apartment? 병원에서 일하시는 거 어떠세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. How do you like working at the hospital? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. How do you like working at the hospital? 저와 함께 일하는 거 어때요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. How do you like working with me? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. How do you like working with me? 신혼생활 어때요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. How do you like the newly married life? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. How do you like the newly married life? 나 머리 깎았는데 어때? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. How do you like my new haircut? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. How do you like my new haircut? 그 생일 선물 어때요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. How do you like the birthday present? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. How do you like the birthday present? 세미나 지금까지는 어떠세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. How do you like the seminar so far? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. How do you like the seminar so far? 한국 날씨 어떠세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. How do you like the weather in Korea? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. How do you like the weather in Korea? 에라인과 학습하는 거 어떠세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. How do you like studying with Eddie's Life English? 도움이 되셨으면 좋겠습니다. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. How do you like studying with Eddie's Life English? How do you like your eggs? How do you like your eggs? How do you like your eggs? How do you like living at home? How do you like living at home? How do you like living at home? How do you like living here so far, huh? How do you like living here so far, huh? How do you like living here so far, huh? How do you like working with Dave? How do you like working with Dave? How do you like working with Dave? How do you like your new job? How do you like your new job? How do you like your new job? How do you like your new office? How do you like your new office? How do you like your new office? How do you like your eggs? How do you like living at home? How do you like living here so far, huh? How do you like working with Dave? How do you like your new job? How do you like your new office? Have you ever heard of ChatGPT? Have you ever helped anyone? Ever? Have you ever met Superman? Have you ever worked as a receptionist before? Have you ever been to Nice? Have you ever been in love? 
like real love. 헤비에버의 과거 분사 이하 패턴은 지금까지 한 번이라도 과거 분사 이하에 해당하는 것을 해보거나 그런 상태로 존재한 적이 있는지를 상대방에게 묻는 표현으로 너무도 다양한 상황에서 자주 등장하는 패턴입니다. 그럼 지금부터 느껴보시고 패턴 익숙해져 보시기 바랍니다. 한국에 오신 적 있으세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever been to Korea? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever been to Korea? 소울메이트를 만나본 적 있으세요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever met your soulmate? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever met your soulmate? 이 장소에 방문해 본적 있나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever visited this place? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever visited this place? 그거 들어본 적 있어요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever heard of it? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever heard of it? 이 게임을 해본 적 있나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever played this game? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever played this game? 진지한 관계를 맺어본 적 있나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever been in a serious relationship? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever been in a serious relationship? 이것에 대해 생각해 본적 있어요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever thought about this? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever thought about this? 당신을 좋아하지 않는 사람들을 상대한 적이 있나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever dealt with people who don't like you? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever dealt with people who don't like you? 그 책을 읽어보셨나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever read the book? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever read the book? 왜인지 궁금해한 적 있나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever wondered why? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever wondered why? 무술을 배우는 것에 관심이 있던 적 있나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever been interested in learning martial arts? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever been interested in learning martial arts? 외국에 살아본 적 있나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever lived in a foreign country? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever lived in a foreign country? 복권에 당첨되는 꿈을 꾼적 있나요? 영어로 해보실까요? 네. Have you ever dreamed about winning the lottery? 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. Have you ever dreamed about winning the lottery? Have you ever heard of ChatGPT? Have you ever heard of ChatGPT? Have you ever heard of ChatGPT? Have you ever helped anyone? Ever? Have you ever helped anyone? Ever? Have you ever helped anyone? Ever? Have you ever met Superman? Have you ever met Superman? Have you ever met Superman? 
Have you ever worked as a receptionist before? Have you ever worked as a receptionist before? Have you ever worked as a receptionist before? Have you ever been to Nice? Have you ever been to Nice? Have you ever been to Nice? Have you ever been in love? Like real love. Have you ever been in love? Like real love. Have you ever been in love? Like real love. Have you ever heard of ChatGPT? Have you ever helped anyone? Ever? Have you ever met Superman? Have you ever worked as a receptionist before? Have you ever been to Nice? Have you ever been in love? Like real love. I'll let you know. I'll let you know where I'm going. I'll let you know as soon as I have the results. I'll let you know how it all goes. I'll let you know as soon as there's any news. I'll let you know as soon as Angela's out of surgery. I'll let you know what to do when the time comes. I'll let you know 이하 패턴은 말 그대로 뒤에 나오는 정보, 상황, 사실 등을 상대방에게 미래 시점에 알려주겠다라는 표현으로 너무도 다양한 상황에서 자주 등장하는 패턴입니다. 그리고 뒤에 나오는 요소는 다양하게 구성될 수 있습니다. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know where I'm going. I'll let you know where I'm going. I'll let you know where I'm going. I'll let you know as soon as I have the results. I'll let you know as soon as I have the results. I'll let you know as soon as I have the results. I'll let you know how it all goes. I'll let you know how it all goes. I'll let you know how it all goes. I'll let you know as soon as there's any news. I'll let you know as soon as there's any news. I'll let you know as soon as there's any news. I'll let you know as soon as Angela's out of surgery. I'll let you know as soon as Angela's out of surgery. I'll let you know as soon as Angela's out of surgery. I'll let you know what to do when the time comes. I'll let you know what to do when the time comes. I'll let you know what to do when the time comes. 곧 알려드릴게요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I'll let you know in a minute. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I'll let you know in a minute. 그 결과를 가능한 빨리 알려드릴게요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I'll let you know the result as soon as possible. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I'll let you know the result as soon as possible. 내가 뭐가 필요한지 알려줄게. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I'll let you know what I need. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I'll let you know what I need. 제가 왜그 행사에 참석 못하는지 알려드릴게요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I'll let you know why I can't attend the event. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I'll let you know why I can't attend the event. 그 식당이 어디인지 알려드릴게요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I'll let you know where the restaurant is. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I'll let you know where the restaurant is. 사무실에 도착하는 대로 그 스케줄 알려드릴게요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I'll let you know the schedule as soon as I get to my office. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I'll let you know the schedule as soon as I get to my office. 모든 정보를 얻으면 알려드릴게요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I'll let you know once I get all the information. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I'll let you know once I get all the information. 배고파지면 알려줄게. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I'll let you know if I get hungry. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네, I'll let you know if I get hungry. 여기 무슨 일이 벌어지는지 알려줄게. 영어로 해보실까요? 네, I'll let you know what's going on here. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 
네. I'll let you know what's going on here. 그 음식이 무슨 맛인지 알려줄게. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I'll let you know what the food tastes like. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I'll let you know what the food tastes like. 그녀가 몇 시에 도착하는지 알려드릴게요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I'll let you know what time she arrives. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I'll let you know what time she arrives. 우리가 주문하길 원할 때 알려드릴게요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I'll let you know when we'd like to place an order. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I'll let you know when we'd like to place an order. 제 최종 결정을 오늘 오후에 알려드릴게요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I'll let you know my final decision this afternoon. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I'll let you know my final decision this afternoon. 그 영화가 어떻게 끝나는지 알려줄게. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I'll let you know how the movie ends. 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I'll let you know how the movie ends. 이 채널을 통해서 여러분들의 영어 실력을 향상시키기 위한 제 모든 팁을 알려드릴게요. 영어로 해보실까요? 네. I'll let you know all my tips to improve your English through this channel. 진심입니다. 그럼 다시 한번 해볼까요? 네. I'll let you know all my tips to improve your English through this channel. I'll let you know. I'll let you know where I'm going. I'll let you know as soon as I have the results. I'll let you know how it all goes. I'll let you know as soon as there's any news. I'll let you know as soon as Angela's out of surgery. I'll let you know what to do when the time comes.